I would like to give the floor to Baha'i international community. Mr. President, yesterday the Iranian president, Dr. Pezishkian, addressed the UN General Assembly in New York. But will his words and promises affect the bitter reality for the Baha'i community, the largest non-Muslim religious minority in Iran, a community persecuted heavily and cruelly for 45 years? The organization Human Rights Watch recently determined the treatment of the Baha'is to be a crime against humanity or persecution. In his first press conference as president, Dr. Pezishkian spoke of equality for all and that what others worship cannot be insulted. He spoke of mutual respect and dialogue. The reality in Iran, though, vastly differs from these words. Baha'is are arrested only for their beliefs, their homes are raided, they're banned from employment, they're expelled from university, Baha'i women are torn from their children, families left in the dark about their loved ones' fates, and their beliefs are systematically and constantly insulted in state media. Now, after Dr. Pezishkian's speech to the UN, we watch to see if his words will align with his actions. Indeed, the whole world is watching. Will he be like every other Iranian president before him and make promises never fulfilled? To show his true commitment, he must remove the many barriers that prevent the Baha'is from living in Iran as equal citizens. We watch and we hope that human dignity will prevail. Thank you.